Alright, guys. We have to be really quiet. Because <clears throat> we're going to look at the habitat of my dog, Peaches. Because she, she is sleeping. And even though them out there being like, I'm not be quiet. Cause I'm in the uh, next room, I said, what do you sit at? Sleeping space. This is where I didn't make a sleeping space up yet, but I'll make another video of how I usually set it up. And yeah, but first of all, she loves looking at my other pet, Harry, and he looks like he's trapped and he has not a lot of water. Let me go fill it up. One second, I'm gonna pop it. And boom, we got him some water. And I don't really know a gender yet. I'm thinking it's a girl or a boy, but I usually call him a him. A boy. God damn it, making popcorn in there. It's too loud. No. Alright, so this is where we, me and my dog share this room. Yeah. He doesn't sleep on the floor though. But she's being you're in the living room, but she doesn't So first here we go. She loves going in the basement sometimes. But I remain so Alright, so let me show you her toy. She likes this basketball. She thinks that she's gonna pop it, but she's really not. So. I just won't give you to her still. And she's sleeping right here. She's right there. Hi, Peaches. Here's her eating spot, her fan, and her water. And yeah, let's show her, let's show you her collar and stuff. So we got her collar, which we replaced for a bandana, but she still likes it, so yeah. So I don't matter. And I'm looking for her leash. Alright, here's her leash. What are you growling at? What are you growling at? We're not going for a walk, okay? Don't have to be like that. Here she is. And go back to sleep. Nowhere, Sam. She's a mom's room, isn't she? Duh. Well, I gotta sleep in mom's room tonight anyway, so. She's still sleeping in my room. But here's her leash. Let me untie this leash because it's kind of knotted up. I took her for two walks today because we're trying to get her to lose some belly fat. So, oh uh, yeah. And usually the first time I walked her, she did not run a lot. She mainly speed walked and uh, like that. She speed walked and stuff like that. Like not running, just walking. But when we got into the habit of taking her for walks and doing that stuff in less than a week, she started running today. And today, my sister had to get down conferences right away, and I just like, come on, come on, let's go, let's go, and she started running. And I was kind of uh, amazed 
and yeah but she's only running like fast for like five seconds but we're kind of training to get her to run fast at least 20 seconds that's all we want and we just go around the block uh you can look up parlor and court uh porter and michigan east lansing parlor and porter those streets we go around the block of them and there's like so many dogs i'm talking like 10 or 20 and she just like they just annoy her when we're walking and some of them don't have leashes on and if you check out one of my other videos with my me and my friend Kasai, uh she got distracted by when i said ma'am you're can you please get a collar on that dog and she wasn't outside so <laughs> um the dog was like peaches the dog didn't even have a leash on, not even a collar. Not that I know of. And their gait, I would think it would be a solid gait. It's like up right here. That's the gait. And their dog's almost as big. They could easily jump for that gait. And these people don't even take their dogs on a walk. Because they have a big backyard. And they don't think, oh, nobody goes on a walk. Look at our backyard. Look how little it is. I might have to put this on the charger for two seconds. Look. It's a little backyard compared to what yard somebody else has in there. Let me get the charger. Hold on. And she's just getting distracted. And we can't have this for long because I don't like her getting distracted either. And that leads to me having to pull her by her neck with the collar. And I just hate doing that. And at the end of the day, she's always like coughing really loud like a... <clears throat> like she's choking. But I just felt like she's not really doing that. So we got the phone on the charger. Good. But, and what else did I not like about it? This is about, I'm guessing like, like, uh, like, I'm guessing five feet or three or four feet. You, uh, tell me in the comments, cause, but this is a, I'm just gonna guess it's five feet. But this is a five feet collar. And it's not like one of those high-tech collars that have those adjusting and uh, locking positions. I have to pull her back. I, I don't have a button that, oh, oh, she sees another dog. Let me just press this button. It, does, it doesn't lock her in place. And, yeah, that's about the walking situation. But we're going to keep training until she gets controlled. It's not like it's it's not very like bad. It's not bad. It's just but she has the ability to walk over dogs, but she can walk over them. She won't bark back. She won't growl back. She only howl like, and she'll lock herself in motion because she wants to see that dog, and she can't see that dog. And she's um a pit bull mix. So, her instincts is to see another dog's and protect me. But I don't really care about that. She's not a family dog. She's a protecting dog. But, I don't, I think she's like both. Because she's, uh, since she's a mix, I guess she's a mix of Pitbull and, not a wiener dog. Not a wiener dog. I forgot the name of it. Eagle? Is it like a seagull? Not a seagull. Like an eagle? I, somebody correct me in the comments. 
But if you correct me, you probably know what I'm saying. Because it's, you know, it's like those big, long dogs. And maybe she breeded with a uh, pit bull and she turned into that. But she's not big. She's not very that. But she's a really good dog. And I just love having her. She's a really good dog. She eats. I let her eat. I let her sleep. She just loves sleeping. And that's about that. Her sleeping. She can sleep through anything. Trust me. A loud TV and loud people. And my family's not allowed to be out. Including me. Harry. You scared me. God. But yeah, that's about her. I'll go get you a close-up of her. And how she gets on top of beds. So all I have to do this is Peaches, come on. Peaches. She must be coming. I'll pause it when she uh, when I see her come. Or I think she's coming. Hi, Peaches. Come on. One bum. One bum. One bum. Oh, I guess not. Well, here she is. Sit. Sit. Come on. Sit. Good girl. And she has a little bit of fleas on her ear, which we're going to get checked. But I had to rub some uh, flea lotion on it, which I used for shampoo for her. It proven to get away fleas and stop the bleeding. So, And see, she's a good girl. and she's Her body's in the shape of a Twinkie. And her paw, it's like a normal paw. She has the face of a pit bull. And the body of a seagull. I can't pronounce it. Just pronounce it for me. But yeah, they're like little big looking long dogs, like 20 dogs. And here, this is how I get her on top of beds. Uh, I just do this. Okay, but that's how I do it. And I don't have much time for this video, but... I'll be sure to upload another video tomorrow of the dog on the walk. Or this week. And yeah. Bye.